that over the past four years, on a bipartisan basis, the Committee's majority and minority have taken up and moved several bills designed to reform government. Without a doubt, one of the most important transparency reform initiatives done by this Committee has been the Data Act. The Data Act is the first shot in what should be a technological revolution that will transform how we govern. Shortly before we sent the Data Act to the President for his signature in May, the GAO Controller General, Gene Dodaro, came before this Committee and testified that the status of Federal program data is abysmal. Agencies have no standardized performance metrics for programs. Agencies cannot tell us how many programs they even have. But most importantly, agencies do not and usually cannot tell us or know themselves how much taxpayer money has been spent or given to a particular program. Spending information that has been provided has been historically incomplete, out of date, and most often inaccurate. We in the transparency world recognize that you have a right to know, that the American people have a right to know, that your leaders in Congress have a right to know. But what we are talking about with the Data Act is management within the executive branch has the greatest single need to know, and if they can't tell us, that means they can't be told for their management purposes. Today we are joined by the Controller General who again will discuss his initial work on Data Act implementation and update us on the status of problems data is designed to address. The American people deserve to know if Federal tax errors are being wasted or being wisely spent. But the performance information collected today is almost useless because we cannot determine the amount of resources a program actually consumes. There is an expression that is not used in government, but it is used in business. And Senator Warner, who joins us today, very well knows this. You must be able to count if you are able to manage. The absence of the ability to count performance is the abs absence of ability to receive performance. This is true in a sales force. This is true in every single individual that works for a company. People want to be evaluated not based on somebody's opinion, but based on facts. Performance data is essential in good management, both in the private sector and in government. To better oversee the Federal Government, Congress and the President have appointees that must be able to better leverage uh, technology, particularly appointees of a President who come in and stay for two to four, maybe up to eight years come in from the outside world where they are used to knowing and getting worthwhile uh, data, they are usually shocked that they ask career professionals for answers, and the career professionals give them answers based on years of experience, but not based on quantitative and measurable data. The Data Act is possibly going to change that if it is properly implemented. By compelling agencies to report their financial information in standard formats, the policymakers in Congress and in the executive branch will have the information necessary to truly in make informed decisions. More importantly, we can give the American people better inf information to evaluate the government's performance for them. The bill directs the Department of Treasury and the White House Office of Management and Budgets to establish these data standards and otherwise implement the law. Today we are joined by senior officials from both agencies charged with the implementation of the Data Act. Uh, un under the Act, Treasury Department is authorized to establish a cutting-edge data anal analysis center modeled on the successful recovery operations center, better known as the ROC. The Data Act calls on Treasury to build on innovative technology and ideas the ROC and ex that were used in the ROC and extend its applications to spending across the Federal Government. Mm -hmm. The Data Act specifically provides for the transfer of technology currently in place at the ROC. If Treasury acts to establish the new Data Analysis Center, it will be a vital tool of law enforcement agency and the Inspector Generals in their investigations. 
The Center will also help agencies protect against improper payments. Today we will hear from Treasury Department officials about the progress in establishing the Center. We also expect to hear from OMB about progress made toward establishing a pilot program to develop consolidated reporting for receipts and Federal funds. Hundreds of billions of Federal taxpayer dollars are spent by State, local and tribal governments, universities and private institutions every year. Today these entities may well and often do waste millions of taxpayer dollars complying with duplicate and uh, complicated reporting requirements. In a modern era, there is no reason for an entity to, to fill in mindless forms with the same information time and time again. At the end of the two-year pilot, under which some recipients report to a single entity in a standardized manner, the Director of OMB will issue guidance to all Federal agencies on how to streamline and consolidate reporting requirements. When fully implemented, consolidated financial reporting by agencies and other recipients will give unprecedented insight into Federal spending. The American people will finally be able to track how we spend their dollars. By simply opening up the information, journalists, academics and citizen watchdogs will be able to create tools that help the American people understand where their taxpayer dollars are going. But we also know that transparency is not the only benefit of an open Federal data uh, act. Private sector businesses will have the opportunity to utilize data to create products and services to deliver real value to the American people. Our efforts have not been, have, have been not only bipartisan, but bicameral. Our partners in the Senate, Senator Mark Warner of Virginia and Senator Rob Portman of Ohio, who are with us today, have shown amazing leadership. And in fact, the bill signed by the President was authored by Senator Warner. They join us here today for a few remarks, and I am pleased to welcome them.